basically somehow this happened and we didn't do it. Hey guys, it's Alana. I just got back from a trip at Santa Cruz. It was so much fun. I just randomly wanted to tell a story because I was randomly just thinking today like, remember when that happened? This happened a few months ago and I tried to film the video back then to tell the story, but then I thought like, I don't want to publish this now because this just recently happened. Because if there's going to be some sort of closure to this story, then I want to be able to tell it all in one video and not have to do an update. But now, there's no closure and it's been like five months or something, so my friends and I still have no clue what happened. And I thought I would just tell the quick story because, hey, maybe one of you guys have an idea of what could have happened in the comments below. If any of you guys possibly know why this could have happened, then please just post it down below. I anything would be helpful right now. I'm just really curious as to what happened. So basically, um, my friends and I had a sleepover one night because we have lots of sleepovers. And then the next day, what we did was we decided to go putt-putt golfing because we're 80 year old men. So we get, went and we did not go on our phones that much. And we were having a very deep conversation with my father who used to be a teacher on dress codes and our school's dress code. Now it's obvious why this happened a while ago because school has been out for two weeks for me now. And we were getting pretty fired up about the conversation. It was very deep and like we should actually do something to change this. And the next sleepover we had, we actually worked on an essay to send to the school board about our dress codes. We never ended up sending it, but maybe next year we will. Anyway, so we finally arrived at the putt putt golf place and we went golfing and we didn't go on our phones the whole day. You'll see later why this is important to the story. We didn't go on our phones and we were just playing the game, whatever. And then we got back, had a fun time, they all went home at some point. It was great, it was fun. We had another sleepover about a week later or two weeks or something and it was at the point of the night where it was kind of late and people were just, not people, but like the two of us, were, the three of us were kind of just chilling on our phones and like doing stuff and chatting and having fun. I love that point of the night personally because it's just so low key and chill, we're just like doing whatever. And I was scrolling on Instagram, my friend Morgan was just hanging out on her phone, or I'm not sure what she was doing, and then my friend Ashlyn was looking through her saved Snapchat things, because a lot of times we mess around on Snapchat, it's really fun. I would say go follow me on Snapchat, but I don't have a Snapchat, it's just my friends who do, and it is really fun to play around with, but I don't have one because my mom won't let me. <laughs> But she was just looking through her saved photos and suddenly she just gasps and she turns the phone to us. And there's this picture of my friend Morgan. She looked, she was close to the camera, like close like this, like a selfie, but her arms were down. Like normally in a selfie, it's like the hand is near. So like, it's clear that you're holding the phone, but her arms were down and she was like staring right kind of away, but she was, she had a really funny look on her face and she was in my car and it was saved on the day that we went putt-putt golfing. And the caption is the thing that scares me the most. Cause it wasn't the caption like the black strip or the like gray strip. You know, if you know Snapchat, you know this is like a gray strip and like white lettering. And that's the only caption that you can do. And there was a very special caption with like fancy lettering that was not even on a black strip. It was just on its own, just sitting there. And it said, express yourself with your dress code. I'm not even kidding, like that's weird, but also we were talking about dress codes while we were in that car and we kept, we were freaking out and I promise you none of us remember taking the picture, none of us was sitting in the front seat, so Morgan was in the back seat of the car, so nobody could have like taken the photo from the front seat. Morgan would have had to take the photo, but none of us remembered and all of us were terrified because we just had no clue what it was. I think the caption scares me the most because literally you cannot have that caption. There's no way to actually specifically put that on. It wasn't a filter. It wasn't something that you could put on or type in unless if you had the black strip to make it clear that you did it yourself. I don't know if this is really confusing to you. If you don't know Snapchat, if you don't know how it, the layout is when you put a story on, then this is gonna be super confusing for you. But basically, somehow this happened and we didn't and do Also, it. not only that, but it was saved. So it would have to be taken with the creepy caption and then saved. 
and my friend Ashlyn was just freaked out by this. She immediately just deleted it. I wish she didn't so I could show it to you guys, but I'm really sorry about that. If any of you guys know Snapchat better than I do, because I'm not on it that often because I don't have it, please put in the comments what could have possibly been the cause to this. Again, the caption was express yourself with your dress code. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'm really sorry there's no answer to this weird thing. It's just kind of shocking, honestly. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!